you have brain, if you have heart, you can make everything possible. For my understanding, brain is the place where you hold the knowledge, education, training. The heart is the place where you hold the wisdom. And IQ is the brain, and EQ is the heart. If you have a strong EQ, you may be easy to be successful, but people like you. You have a value, you have a friendship, you have trust. But if you have great IQ, it's very difficult for you to fail quickly. A lot of people are easy to get success, but losing very quickly. That's because they don't have enough IQ. When IQ and EQ connected, that means when brain and heart connected, that is the knowledge and the wisdom connected, that is called innovation. And I believe that if you want to be successful, you should have the good EQ. If you don't want to fail quickly, you should have IQ. But if you want to be respected, you should have LQ, the Q of love. The most precious resource in the world is not oil. It's not gas. It's the human brains. Most of innovations, not because they want to, because they were forced to. Israel, there's no water, no oil, no resources. And most people innovate for success and I find Israel people innovate for survive people say Jack you are amazing how could you make such a huge investment in nine years ago to develop cloud computing and you know nothing about technology that is true I know nothing about technology I'm scared of technology I was the first product tester of my company because I said if I can use it 80% of people can use it Nine years ago, I know if we do not develop technology on cloud computing, Alibaba will bankrupt because we cannot afford the cost of IBM and Oracle. The cost of using this IT too expensive for us. So we have to innovate. We have to design a technology that is simple enough. If we can use that technology simple and cost effective, not only for Alibaba, it's also going to support millions of small business. That was we were forced. And the other thing is that, you know, we have 11-11. November 11 is the sh largest shopping day of China. Last year, for the first min minute of November 11, we had 80 million people came in first and second. With that good technology, our company will bankrupt immediately. We sold more than $24 billion last year for one day. This year, we don't know how much we will sell for one night. It's the technology behind it. So we were forced to do that. And today, a lot of people say, oh, young people have no opportunities. I think that, that, that thing I've heard for 40 years. When I was young, I, oh, I hate Bill Gates because I think Microsoft take all the opportunity. IBM, Oracle, they take all the opportunity. But later I found, when people start to complain, that is the opportunity. Most people keep on complaining. If you can solve the complaining, if you solve the problems, and that is the opportunity. Innovation is the way to solve anxiety, worries, unsatisfaction. Innovation is for happier life. We believe through the innovation, you can grasp the opportunity for success. The first technology revolution released the physical power of human beings. The second technology revolution released the distance. And this is the third technology revolution released the human brains. We never satisfied with today and the way to make change yourself to embrace this challenge is called innovation and I would like to say who are those kind of innovative people who are these kind of people I would say those innovators they look like crazy stupid lazy and even liars when we started Alibaba I tell the story about it. I went to Silicon Valley raising fund I talked to over 30 venture capitalists they say ah oh, crazy Alibaba stupid crazy name and e-commerce e in China won't work because China has no internet China had a censorship no credit card no deliver nothing else so they think it's impossible to make they think Jack you're coming here to tell a lie but we believe China has the future we believe internet is going to change the China and at that time e-commerce in America style is only supported big companies we believe small business and people say small business they don't make money how could you make money from them they're right we say if small business in America e-commerce for big companies helping big company to cut the cost we think helping small companies 
not to teach them how to cut the cost because they know better than you do. You should help them how to make the money. And washing machine. A lot of things are designed for lazy people. People don't want to wash, they have a washing machine. People don't want to climb, they have the elevators. So innovation, innovative people are believers. Most people seeing is believing. People like us, we believe and we see it. Innovators, they are not one person. They are a group of people. So when you invest in money in somebody, you should see, does this guy have followers? If you have a group of people who are crazy like him, that would be great. I remember early 2000, I went to the United States to talk about and uh, make my speech about internet in the future in China. I believe internet population in China will be bigger than the USA. People say, ah, that is not true. Uh, my reason was very simple. China have 1.4 billion people. USA have only 300 million people. Make everybody online, you know, 300 million, right? So China has a huge potential for that. One of the guys said, Jack, what you're talking about, internet companies should have values and mission. That is crazy. And I say, sir, please come to my company. So I came to Hangzhou, my company, spent one week, and the day he left, he said, Jack, I know you're crazy, but I found 100 people in your companies, they're all crazy. Crazy people don't think they're crazy. They think people outside they're crazy. So, and most of the innovators are not very successful people because successful people, very difficult to change. I never try to convince successful people. They will tell you how they succeed. They will continue to do this. Those people who don't succeed, they always want to succeed. So one of the reasons why Alibaba succeed 20 years ago, we never try to convince those people who are successful. We try to spend time on the people who are 18 years old 20 years old they are not successful so 20 years later they become successful we become successful that is how we did it now most of the people who buy online they are 35 to 40 20 years ago they only spent two dollars now they spend three thousand dollars that is the difference innovation has nothing to do with the technology when we talk about innovation everybody say ah high technology it's not about that innovation everybody can do it those people who do not know anything like technology like me we can find those people rely on these people try those people who have the technology in our site our alibaba site there's a one guy selling shoes 48 inches only and I say, how can this guy sell shoes for 48 inches? And we find out he's very innovative because people with 48 inches feet, difficult for him to buy shoes in the shops. There's only one on the, on the online. And there are a lot of innovative ways. Those guys design lazy guys, you know, they watch TV lying on the sofa. So they design a specific glass that you can lie on the, on the sofa, watch the, on the TV. They sell perfectly. And there are also some guys, there are a lot of crazy, interesting ideas. They are all wonderful sellers. And most of the innovations today are only talk. Innovation, they think it's an idea. Entrepreneurs make the innovation reality. So we have to share a real entrepreneur have to believe in the future, have to suffer, have to re be ready for the terrible lives in the future. So we think, I believe everybody has the ability of innovation, but you just don't spend the time to discover that. And I think the best investment for tomorrow is education. In the past 20 years, we make people like machines. Next 20 years, we will make machine like a people. You like or don't like it? We have to change ourselves. This thing is coming. What we should do to change our education systems, to teach our kids they can do the things the machine cannot do. It's the entrepreneurships that make ideas reality. In 1860s, when UK had first the cars, the cars came in, automobile coming, they destroyed a lot of jobs of these horsemen. Horsemen at that time are the main jobs of the society. These are white collar people. They went to the government, push the government and say you should stop these cars because they're going to kill people on the road it's going to destroy the jobs so the government passed a law called red flag bill they do not allow any car drive faster than seven miles per hour and they should always follow behind the courses people start to worry artificial intelligence robots jobs but don't worry about it human beings are much smarter than machines Machine can never control because machine only have chips. Human beings have the hearts. And I want to say, don't worry about the future. Young people don't worry about the future. 
And don't worry about the size of the machine. I think small business don't worry about because small business believe small is powerful, small is beautiful. Using innovation, small business can compete anybody in the world. Today is just the beginning. But anything, remember, this is my philosophy of life the past 20 years. Today is difficult. Tomorrow is much more difficult. But day of tomorrow is beautiful. Most people die tomorrow evening.